Okay, so here is my last installment, uh, chapter 10, <laughs> filing for bankruptcy, I don't know. So, anyways, um, yeah, it's um, the 11th of June, and I've always found that 11 had a significant presence in my life uh it's supposed to mean spiritualism and uh so i almost died on september the 11th of 2001 and uh <laughs> i was driving my ford windstar after work after working, after doing my two jobs that day, and I drove down Glenmore Trail, and uh, my van, my Ford Windstar, stalled, and the semi was heading straight for me. If I didn't have that car restarted with my ignition, I would have been dead. So I almost died on September the 11th, 2000. And one so um and then i get home and i talk to my ex-wife and i'm like oh what do you think about the events of today with the world trade towers and all that she's like oh yeah whatever okay but anyways uh i will never be buying a ford ever again uh, I even have problems with my mom's Ford Maverick, and um, I always had good luck with Oldsmobiles and GMCs and Chevs and my Chev Monte Carlo. It was great. Um, yeah, thanks, Nana. But um, uh, so, anyways. Um, if it wasn't for these people, I wouldn't be alive. That's my great, great, great grandfather, James Leverington, his son, James Leverington Jr., and his daughter, Pearl Leverington. I remember her barely in 1968 when I was four. And, uh, so anyways, to round this up, uh, I just have one more thing to place. Meeting the 29th scroll, six verse. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn, alone among God's primates. He kills for sport, or lust, or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him, drive him back into his jungle lair, for he is the harbinger of death. Yeah.